We like to think as golfers, don't we, that pretty much wherever we hit our ball, we're going to be able to play a shot of some kind to get it back in play or advance it. Sometimes, however, that just isn't possible. Um, this situation here, the ball is semi-plugged in the sand underneath the heather. My route to the hole is that way. It's more or less a physical impossibility that I can progress it forwards. Um, I would want to deem that unplayable. Uh, and the first thing to stress is that it's entirely your decision as to whether the ball is unplayable. You could, if you so wish, declare it unplayable from the perfect lie in the middle of the fairway. The ball doesn't have to, as it were, be physically unplayable for you to deem it unplayable. Now, most golfers probably know that when they deem their ball unplayable, they have three options under Rule 28. The first of those options is that you can go back to where you played it from and have another go from as close to the original spot as possible. The second option is that you can keep that point between you and the flag and go back as far as you like in that direction over there in this instance. The third option is to drop the ball within two club lengths. Now, when you're in a bunker, you retain all three of those options with one critical difference. If you go for options B or C, so going back on line or dropping within two club lengths, the ball must be dropped within the bunker. The only uh, way you can drop the ball outside the bunker is to go for option A and go back to where you last played it from, assuming that that was from outside the bunker. In this situation here, it's really a fairly clear cut decision. I can't really get at the ball and even if I could, I couldn't progress it anywhere. But what if the ball was perhaps lying here, plugged, and it's 50-50 as to whether or not I should take a drop? Well, it's your decision, but you have to factor this kind of thing into it. If I take a drop, will it plug? If I go back to where I played from, which might be 200 yards away in a very difficult shot, which is going to be the better option? Those are the things that only you, as the player, can decide. Finally, if this ball was plugged such that it was really um, completely invisible, um, you are allowed to move the sand in and attempt to find the ball and locate it, uh, as long as you then recreate how it was lying as closely as possible afterwards. And one little uh, bonus you get in those circumstances, you are allowed to leave a small part of the ball visible for when you actually attempt the shot.